What's up everybody, Brian Tong here at Display Week and behind me, this is TCL CSOT's booth. Now if you aren't familiar with them, you know the name TCL, a lot of you for their TVs, phones and tablets, but TCL CSOT, this is their business, the business division. Think of them as the ones that supply and come up with all these great display technologies that end up in consumer products like the things I mentioned and also they work with other partners to use their display technology. So for example, let's go over here. This is the 115 inch LCD TV. This is a beast from TCL. Uh, this is the largest available mini LED TV that is available this year here in the US. So that's in a showcase of what is possible today. If you look down here into the future, this is their micro LED display. This is right, a modular display made of multiple panels to really create different sizes of TV. So that's what's on the outside. I wanna show you what's on the inside. So let's check out what they got. All right, everybody, I am here with Ming Zhang, Chief of the Technology Planning Center here with TCL CSOT. And we're here to check out a bunch of really cool display innovations that you all are working on. So I'd love for you to show me, you know, what do we have going on here? Yeah, welcome, Brian. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, right now, we bring something very interest, uh, interesting and uh, very exciting. So uh, I think some topic is very hot now. A hot topic. Uh, yeah, for the for the tendon or like because we always worry about the blindness, our uh, outdoor and uh, the lifetime. So we introduce our latest technology. That is a tendon one. Why is a tendon? That actually the emitting device uh, connected in series. So for this one, you can see that that is very. Brightness is very oh, it's so bright! Like just yeah. because it's a darker room, like our camera, this this looks it does may look a little blown out, but we're gonna get you some nice tight shots of it. Like this is a tandem OLED display here, and it's super thin. But right, what you're talking about is OLED needs the brightness, and you're putting yeah. two layers of OLED together on that, yeah. right? So uh, for the power saving, if you have a, you don't need a so bright brightness so high, you can reduce the brightness and you can get a battery lifetime longer. So that is very cool for the outdoor usage and the battery lifetime. So uh, Brian, I show you something new. That is okay. the water first for the trifold. Conventional, we have a fold mobile phone, but that is still not big enough. Mm -hmm. So we try to make a larger size for the display. So we bring the trifold or light. So it can have a, also the tendon technology and the polarized. So they have a much, much high power efficiency. This is like a simple. For unfold, you have a larger screen, about 8.7 inch. Mm -hmm. So when you want to uh, change it to the mobile phone type, you can have the first fold. And the second, you will be if you have more information outside, you can like a small smartphone. It was interesting because, right, we do have foldables on the industry today, but this trifold design kind of creates some unique opportunities where you can, you know, position it and mount yeah. it, but ultimately you have more screen real estate yeah, screen because size. it's a trifold, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is very uh, easy to portable and have a larger screen for show information on that. And then the other thing is that this display here, the technology in this tandem OLED is going to be also, you know, also yeah. used for the tripod Also display. used for, yeah. So oh, that okay. is very suitable for you carry anywhere. You can use it like in-house and out outdoor. That is oh, very useful very for cool. that okay. one. Okay. Besides, when you up, uh, unfold the screen, we also worry about if we, we need a camera or sensor on the screen, that is, uh, incomplete. So we also introduced a new technology we call it is a under screen sensor. They have a sensor under the screen. You can see almost all screen. Yeah. You cannot see the sensor. I can actually you can you can see here. We have a hand. So actually here is the camera under the screen. So Oh so this demo yeah, actually yeah. showing a real time feed of this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. when I press play, okay so absolutely right. A lot of, we've seen under camera displays in the in, um, out in consumers' hands right now, but you actually can still see it. You know, you can see like the shadow of it, but here, I mean, I can't see anything. And then this is this phone is showing us an actual live feed where I can look. Yeah, they can put it in my face. Recognize. Yeah. So facial recognition yeah. through that as well. So right? for many phones, they maybe have some camera on it or have the notch. Yep. That is not imperfect. No more so, notch. No more yeah, notch. No more <laughs> yeah. So we do, we introduce it and we we cost a lot of time and the resource to do that, to overcome the recognition function. So you can, you can pick, uh, take a picture about your face to recognize it. So, the, so these, these three technologies that you've shown us, the tandem display, yeah, they can the support. trifold, 
and this uh, on-screen on face authentication, on the, this, the, this kind of, you combine these three to, you could bring it to this type of form factor? For this one, we bring a tandem, but for this one, maybe it's another form Separate, separate type separate. of form. Okay. Yeah, but it is possible to integrate, but right now it's separate. Yeah. All right, um, I know there's something else that you have yeah, to Yeah, so you, yeah, yeah, I can show you something interesting. Okay, let's, let's go check it out. All right, Ming Zhang, uh, what do we have here? This looks pretty sweet. I, I've yeah. heard something, I've heard before I got here something about a scrollable display. Yeah, um, conventional, we always have a little trailer. You need a little bigger screen mm -hmm. or easy to portable. So I think that is uh, confused. Uh, Every consumer needs a portable, AD portable, small device, but have a large screen. So we bring this latest up, uh, outcome, that is our latest work about a screen OLED. What does the screen OLED mean? Because when you open your notebook, mm -hmm. they can scroll up, have a full screen about 14 inch. But if you want to carry it out, you can scroll it down. Oh, that looks really smooth. Yeah, so when you uh, shrink and uh, uh, scrolling down, you will bring the size much easier to carry out. So this is a this is also using the tandem OLED technology. So very bright, right? Yeah. Really bright OLED display. Obviously, really thin. Um, I know this is a demo, but you know this even something like this, a medi even a medium size, almost like a what twelve point six inches, yeah. and then I can. Recovery. Oh my uh, gosh. So if you need a larger screen, just unfold it, unscoring it. And you know, again, this is an OLED display, so you can see the high contrast ratio, the colors pop. Um, my brain instantly when I see something like this, you not only could I feel like you could use this in uh, you know, in like a laptop design, but what about cars? Right? I could see this coming up to make a bigger display in a car as well. Um, this really comes down to the partners and manufacturers, how they want to apply this, correct? Yeah, that is useful for cars, for mo mobile, uh, mm -hmm. for, for the notebook and for the mobile. That is very useful for any portable or some uh, space limited uh, area. That is very useful for the scoring or like. You know, you showed us some really cool technology here, display technology that TCL CSOT has been yeah. working on. For people that are watching, they're they're probably thinking, how soon are we going to really start seeing this in the market? I know the trifold design is a lot closer because we've seen a lot more working samples, uh, but yeah. something like this, I mean, when might this we, actually come to market for consumers? We think uh, maybe maybe uh, in the near future, very near future. Very near, yeah. like so. How near is very near? Like maybe maybe years or two okay, years. okay, okay, around a year or two years, yeah. yeah. Uh, th this is incredible stuff. So, you know, just wanted to showcase all the really amazing innovations here. And, you know, as someone who's a display junkie, someone who loves their TVs and their devices, uh, this is really cool stuff. So, thanks, Ming Zhang. Yeah. All right, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.